You're listening to the Veterinarian Marketing Masterclass. With your host, Lee Brooks. Many of our clients come to us with a basic understanding of what search engine optimization is. And moving forward, we're just going to say SEO. So you don't get sick of me saying search engine optimization for the rest of this podcast. So they come to us with a basic understanding of SEO, but they're often unclear on the details. So SEO, to put things in in a very simplified perspective, it's a process of improving the visibility and ranking of websites or web pages in search engine result pages, also known as SERPs or SERPs. The higher the ranking, the more likely people are to find your website. Now, the goal of SEO is to encourage search engines to show your website as a top result for searches that are relevant to your respective business. This is done through optimizing your website content, developing backlinks, and improving your overall web presence. Now I know backlinks and website content, you know, these are very generic terms. We definitely can't go through every single aspect, <clears throat> excuse me, of SEO within this podcast. We're going to be doing other podcasts in the future that dive into these specific topics because essentially, you know, if you were to uh, summarize SEO in different phases, you have on-page SEO, which is all the things you're doing on your web website. There's off-page SEO, which is referring to backlinks. There is technical SEO. So that's all the technical aspects of your website that, that go on behind the scenes that Google actually uses to rank, right? So there's various other aspects of, of SEO that You know, it would just win it, do it justice if we would try to breeze through them in this podcast. So look out for our future podcast where we're going to be diving more specifically into the various areas of SEO. So in general, SEO is a complex and ever-changing process, but it is an important part of any digital marketing strategy. Now throughout this podcast, we're going to go through some basics, but we're going to really provide you with a foundation for future messages that, that we'll put together. I guarantee if you follow some of these principles, you'll be able to apply it to your business right away. Okay? So, let's talk about how SEO works. So, search engines like Google use algorithms to crawl the internet and index websites. Now, these algorithms are constantly changing, which means that SEO strategies must also change in order to keep up. When a user types a query into a search engine, the search engine combs through its indexed websites and delivers results based on relevancy and ranking factors. Now some of these factors determine are determined by things like keyword usage, backlinks, domain authority, and other elements that we'll discuss more in detail. Now again, if you don't understand some of these topics, don't worry, we are going to cover them in more depth in other podcasts, even if we don't go that deep into them uh, today, because I don't want to overwhelm you. Um, because SEO is a very complex topic and it's changing all the time, as I mentioned previously. So the next thing we'll, we'll, we'll talk about is, you know, why does SEO matter? Why should my business focus on it? Well, SEO should be a part of any digital marketing strategy because it can have a major impact on visibility and traffic. So a well-optimized website will appear higher in search results, which makes it more likely to be seen by potential clients and customers. In fact, Studies have shown that organic traffic from SERPs has a much higher conversion rate than other forms of traffic like paid ads. So essentially similar and if you haven't reviewed our Google My Business podcast, you'll definitely want to do that. But Google My Business, SEO similar to Google My Business is free, it just requires optimization, creating quality content, and really making sure that your strategy is tight so that the work that you put in today and every day will provide you with better long-term results. 
because as I mentioned in our Google My Business podcast, Google Ads, Facebook Ads, etc., that's all based on, yes, part in, in part what you, um, you know, how you optimize your pages, but it's how much, how much money you spend. And the general idea is if you're willing to spend more per click, or you have a higher budget than, 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 than competitors, or if competitors have a higher bit budget than you, or they're willing to pay more for a particular click or per, for a particular keyword, you're gonna lose out to them. So that can be frustrating if you have a smaller or limited budget. So we wanna make sure that we're optimizing Google My Business and your SEO so that you can still achieve uh, those same results, but even better results because once your SEO engine is going, once you're optimized, once you're in the first page, it's much easier to maintain your status there as opposed to Google Ads where that can change you know, throughout the day and definitely day by day, okay? So additionally, SEO can help you build brand awareness and credibility by increasing your chances of being featured on the SCRP. So in essence, since users tend to trust websites that appear on the first page of the search engine result pages, this can also help build trust with potential customers. Okay, so let's talk about what are some of the SEO techniques. So again, impossible to go through all the various techniques and there's different schools of thoughts on what works and what doesn't work. Okay, um, I'm not going to claim to be the number one SEO expert in the world. There are, you know, there are people that work for Google that would probably be the absolute best uh, people to consult on things. But we know we have several of our clients who are ranking first for the keywords that they would like to rank for. So we have some experience in helping to achieve these results for our clients. And we feel that some of these, you know, there, there are general concepts that work well for everybody, but you do need to tailor it specifically for your brand, specifically for the products and services that you offer in your business, okay? So there are many different techniques that can be used to improve SEO ranking. Some common techniques include the following. You know, keyword research. Again, this is a no-brainer. When it comes to creating any strategy, you need to have research to back up your decisions, right? So there are many tools out there where you can do keyword research. Um, obviously, the best thing to do is to hire a digital marketing team, such as our team here. Uh, we can help you with that, set up a proper SEO strategy. Um, you know, as, but aside from that, if you if you're going at it on, on your own, there are different tools that you can research and figure out which one will fit your budget and which one would be best for your business needs. But by doing keyword research, you can identify and target keywords that potential clients and customers are using when they search for the products or services that, that you offer, right? So you wanna be able to first create, you know, figure out what are people searching for and then build content that, you know, on your website through blogs, etc that help to provide those solutions to your prospective clients and customers. So maybe it's an instructional video, maybe it's a landing page that talks about a particular topic, maybe it's a blog post. There's different things that you can do, different types of content that you can create. Again, in our content marketing podcast, we're gonna dive more into content marketing. But for, for the sake of this podcast, and keeping things tight and short, um, you know, building quality content that answers that answers questions that provide solutions to your prospective clients. Um, that's going to be important. But understanding what type of content to create, you can do that by figuring out the target keywords that your content should be based on. And obviously, it should be natural, right? You shouldn't you shouldn't create content just for content's sake. It should be something that's actually digestible that can be applied. It shouldn't sound robotic. It should sound natural. And again, there's various tools to help you do that. The next thing that um, you know I would say is a great SEO technique is on-page optimization. So that's optimizing the different elements on your website, like title tags and meta descriptions, to ensure that they are keyword rich and appealing to searchers. I apologize in advance, title tags, meta descriptions, I know some of this is technical, um, and you, maybe you've, you've heard of what these things are, maybe you haven't. But to put it simple, um, you know, title tags and meta descriptions, that's what Google reads, right? So if you go to any website and you hover over the over the, the, the actual tab it's going to give you a description of what that page is about that's called your, your your meta title that is what google reads so if you don't incorporate those that what, what's called metadata about your page google doesn't actually understand 
what your page is about. So if you so if your metadata says one thing, then all the content on your page should support what you're saying your page is about, right? So you know basically you can think of it as you know, your metadata is the is the outline that you're providing Google and telling them what your page is about. Then it's up to you to create proper content, videos, you know, really rich uh, content that is engaging on the page that will then allow Google to, to deem your page as relevant, your website as relevant, your brand as relevant. And the more pages you have um, that you built on your website over time, that is, that's relevant, that's keyword rich, that's really focused on, you know, one, two keywords tops, that's what allows you over time to really establish a strong SEO foundation, at least when it comes to on-page optimization, okay? Another technique is content creation. Again, in this short podcast, we're not going to dive really deep into the different forms of content because we're going to save that for our content marketing podcast, but creating high quality content that contains targeted keywords and provides value to readers is essential. So content creation, just as a high level, you can create marketing videos, you can create infographics, you can create um, guides that people can download, you can create white papers. There's The sky is really the limit. You, you know, you have to ask yourself, what would your client and customer want? You know, what questions do they have? What pain points do they have? And what free information can you provide them that will offer some, some guidance, some help? That's what you basically want to create content for. You want to, you want to create content that's actually, um, you know, usable for your your client or or customer. Okay. So again, we'll we'll dive into into that in more in greater detail in our content marketing podcast. But just want to give you that high level creating content super important. Not just blog posts, not just written, but videos very important because not only can you incorporate that in your site, not only that. As videos keep people on your site, keep them engaged, but also you can upload those to YouTube, which provides um, a huge SEO benefit as well, which we'll get into when we get, which we'll talk more in depth when we get to our video marketing um, podcast and our YouTube marketing podcast. Um, And lastly, but not least, a link building. So developing links from other websites that link back to yours in order to improve your overall domain authority. So again, link building, that could be a whole podcast in and of itself. There's many schools of thoughts on, on that. To keep it simple, if you, um, if your business ended up in your local newspaper, right? And your local newspaper has, you know, 150 to 250,000 um, visitors to their website on a monthly basis, just for instance. And something, you do something fantastic in your business where you're now, you now have been you know, listed on this, you know, as in, in a newspaper article on this website, right? And now your, your website information there, your link is there and all that. Now that is a very, very strong backlink because that's a very, very high authority page because it has 250 followers, it's a big brand. So when Google sees you there and counts that backlink, that's a much stronger backlink that really helps to build your brand. Whereas if you do that same amazing thing that you did that resulted in you being on the, on, you know, on your local newspaper, if a guy named Mike has a Mike's blog that gets maybe a hundred people a month and all that information about what you did is on his blog and he's writing about you and his following is very small and his website's not that authoritative. Well, that's a backlink as well, but I think you can agree there's a big difference between your website and you having a backlink on your local newspaper that gets hundreds of thousands of visitors per month and Mike's blog, who gets maybe 100 or 200. The, still, there are backlinks but there's definitely a difference in quality. You can't always get um, your website on very um, high authority websites like newspapers. Obviously that's ideal, but you probably can't get many of those all the time unless you have a really good hookup and then power to you if you are able to do that. But you wanna have a good mixture of very, very high quality, high authoritative backlinks and also the lower and medium. 
it's not that you know there, there is something to say that the more that the more volume of backlinks you have the better but it's not just volume anymore it's also quality so you want to have lots of backlinks right and there's tools that will allow you to kind of measure how many backlinks you need to really help boost your SEO there's tools that allow you to do that especially compared to your competitors but for the most part you want to focus on high quality backlinks in addition to high volume so you want the best of both worlds okay so basically in, in summary you know, SEO is a very very complex process that is always changing and again it is important a very crucial and important part of any digital marketing strategy particularly when it comes to your business so understanding how SEO works and why it matters allows you to really um, optimize your digital marketing results and really optimize your rankings in the SERPs which ultimately helps you to drive more traffic to your website and to your business. You were listening to the Veterinarian Marketing Masterclass. We hope the tools, tips and strategies shared in our podcast today have provided you with insights into the amazing growth opportunities that are available to your business with the right digital marketing strategy. Let our team help you to attract more customers, increase referrals, and generate more leads to your website and business on a monthly basis. Book your free consultation today 